As AI becomes more integrated into our lives, we're being forced to grapple with questions that until now, were the stuff of science fiction. What happens when machines can do most jobs better than humans? How do we ensure that the benefits of AI are distributed fairly? How do we navigate the ethical minefields that AI presents? How do we deal with AGI? Imagine a world where artificial general intelligence, or AGI, is as common as electricity today. That's the world that OpenAI is working towards. The AI revolution is transforming not just technology but the very fabric of our society. And we're all part of it, whether we're ready or not. So let's subscribe and get to work. Because the future is here, and it's powered by artificial intelligence. Moore's Law, which predicts the doubling of computer processing power every two years, is now being applied to everything. This bold idea, proposed by Sam Altman, suggests that the rapid advancements in artificial intelligence will not just enhance our computing capabilities but will also revolutionize every aspect of our lives. Imagine a world where the cost of goods and services is on a continuous decline, all thanks to AI. Altman predicts that as AI continues to evolve, it will become an omnipresent force, infiltrating every industry and leading to a drastic drop in the cost of production. From manufacturing to healthcare, from transportation to education, AI is set to revolutionize the way we do things. But what does this mean for us? As AI becomes more prevalent, we'll see a shift in our economy. No longer will it be about labor, about the number of hours a human can work. The focus will shift to capital, to the assets that can utilize AI to produce goods and services. Imagine a world where AI-driven farming techniques produce more food at a fraction of the cost, where AI-powered factories churn out products without the need for human labor, where AI-based systems provide healthcare services, making them more accessible and affordable for everyone. But we must also prepare for the challenges that this shift will bring. As we move from a labor-based economy to a capital-based one, we need to ensure a fair distribution of wealth. We need policies that ensure everyone benefits from the AI revolution, not just the few who own the capital. As AI advances, we can expect an economic shift from labor to capital. And as we navigate this shift, we must strive to create a world where the benefits of AI are enjoyed by all, not just a privileged few. This is the promise and the challenge of Moore's Law for everything. But what does this shift from labor to capital mean for the average person? You might be wondering, and rightfully so. As we delve deeper into the age of artificial intelligence, the dynamics of our economic model are poised to undergo a significant transformation. Enter Sam Altman, a visionary who proposes a radical yet compelling idea, distributing wealth directly to citizens. Yes, you heard that right. Altman envisions a system where the vast wealth generated by AI and other advanced technologies is not confined to a select few, but rather shared among all. So how would this work? Altman suggests an ingenious concept the American Equity Fund. Imagine a national fund somewhat like a giant pool of resources where a portion of the wealth generated by corporations and land assets is collected as taxes. This collected wealth is not hoarded but instead distributed directly to the citizens. Now, you might be thinking, isn't that just a fancier version of a welfare state? Not quite. The distinguishing factor here is the source of the wealth. Instead of relying on labor income, this system taps into the vast wealth generated by capital. It's a shift from a labor-based economy to a capital-based one, but with a twist. The capital is for everyone. It's an exciting proposition, isn't it? A world where the benefits of technological advancements are not limited to those who own the capital. A world where the fruits of AI and other innovations are shared equitably, leading to a more inclusive economic system. But, as Altman points out, this is not just about economic fairness. It's about fostering a sense of ownership and participation among all citizens in the technological revolution. It's about creating a society where everyone has a stake in the future and the wealth it brings. In this new era of AI, capitalism may not just be for the wealthy, but for everyone. So buckle up, because the future of capitalism could be a lot more inclusive and exciting than we ever imagined. The implementation of this new system will undoubtedly face challenges. Picture this. An economic system where assets like companies and land are taxed to distribute wealth fairly. Sounds ideal, right? But as with any grand plan, the devil is in the details. Let's delve into some potential obstacles and solutions. First and foremost, we have the issue of valuation. How do we accurately assess the worth of companies and land? It's a complex task that demands sophisticated algorithms and AI technologies. 
But the good news is, we're in the age of AI, where machine learning models can handle vast amounts of data and provide precise estimates. Then there's the challenge of political will. Pushing for such a system requires a shift in policy and mindset, a task easier said than done. But remember, we've seen societal shifts before. Think about the Industrial Revolution, when society transitioned from agriculture to industry. It was met with resistance, but, over time, the benefits became evident, and the new system was adopted. Another hurdle is public acceptance. People might feel uneasy about their assets being taxed, but let's not forget it's about fair distribution of wealth. We need to communicate that this is not about taking away, but about giving back to the society that enabled the creation of these assets in the first place. Lastly, there's the technical aspect. Implementing such a system would require sophisticated technology and infrastructure. But again, we're living in the AI era, where technology is advancing at an unprecedented rate. We've seen companies like Lightmatter revolutionize computing efficiency with their photonic computers. Similarly, AI-driven solutions like Synapse's DSO.i tool are changing the game in the semiconductor industry. So, the technology to implement this system? It's not a far-fetched dream. Navigating these challenges will be crucial in ensuring the equitable distribution of wealth in the AI era. And while it won't be easy, we have the tools, the technology, and most importantly, the potential to make it happen. As AI takes over more tasks, what happens to jobs? This is a question that often stirs up a mix of curiosity and concern. It's true that the rise of artificial general intelligence, or AGI, will inevitably lead to changes in the job market. Certain sectors might experience job displacement as tasks previously done by humans become automated. Picture a factory where robots perform the heavy lifting, or an office where software handles data analysis. Even complex professions like law and medicine could see changes as AI becomes capable of tasks such as legal research or medical diagnostics. But before you start worrying about a jobless future, let's flip the coin and look at the other side of the story. The advent of AGI doesn't necessarily mean the end of work. Instead, it signifies a shift in the nature of work. As some roles become obsolete, new ones will emerge. The AGI era will demand skills that complement, rather than compete with, artificial intelligence. For instance, while machines can crunch numbers and process data efficiently, they lack the human touch. Jobs that require empathy, creativity, or strategic thinking will still need a human at the helm. So, roles such as therapists, artists, or strategic planners are likely to remain relevant. Moreover, the AGI revolution isn't just about replacing jobs, but also about enhancing them. AI can take over mundane or repetitive tasks, freeing up humans to focus on more complex and meaningful work. This could lead to a rise in productivity and job satisfaction. Finally, let's not forget the jobs that will be created directly by the AI industry itself. From AI ethics consultants to machine learning specialists, the opportunities are vast and varied. So, while it's true that the AGI era will bring changes, it's also an era of immense possibilities. While some jobs may disappear, the AI revolution could also give rise to new ones. Embrace the change, learn to adapt, and you might find that the future of work is brighter than you think. In the face of AI-driven automation, new types of jobs will emerge. It's a statement of resilience, of adaptability, and of the exciting potential that the AI era brings. As we've seen in previous technological shifts, the displacement of old jobs usually paves the way for novel professions, and the rise of artificial intelligence and advanced general intelligence is no exception. Let's take a moment to envision some of the roles that may come into prominence. First up, AI ethics officers. As AI becomes more integrated into our daily lives, there's an increasing need to ensure that these systems operate within ethical boundaries. AI ethics officers will be responsible for setting and enforcing ethical guidelines, ensuring compliance and addressing any ethical dilemmas that may arise. Next, we have AI trainers. Despite their advanced algorithms, AI systems don't magically understand how to perform tasks. They need to be trained, and that's where AI trainers come in. These professionals will specialize in teaching AI systems using a variety of techniques from supervised learning to reinforcement learning. They'll help AI understand and navigate the complexities of our world, fine-tuning them to perform at their very best. And let's not forget about the role of AI maintenance and repair. As our reliance on AI systems grows, so too does the need for individuals skilled in maintaining and repairing these systems. It's a job that requires both technical expertise and creative problem-solving skills, ensuring that our AI systems continue to operate smoothly and efficiently. 
but these are just a few examples. The possibilities are endless, from AI-powered personal assistants to AI healthcare specialists. What's clear is that the AI era will bring about a wave of new professions, each more interesting and exciting than the last. The key is to embrace this change, to adapt and evolve with it. Just as the Industrial Revolution created new jobs, so too will the AI revolution. It's a future that is full of potential. A future where artificial intelligence doesn't replace us, but instead, opens up new opportunities for us to explore. It's a future that we're not just ready for, but one that we're eagerly looking forward to. In an era where AI drives down the cost of goods and services, how does money factor in? It's a question that's both intriguing and mind-boggling. The advent of AGI or artificial general intelligence is poised to revolutionize not just the way we work but also the way we handle and perceive money. As we've seen in previous scenes, the proliferation of AGI could lead to a significant drop in the cost of goods and services. But what does this mean for our economies and our wallets? Well, let's take a moment to envision this future. With AGI taking over a bulk of labor-intensive tasks, the production costs for many goods and services could drastically decrease. This could lead to a decline in prices, making many of life's necessities more affordable than ever before. In such a scenario, the conventional wisdom of money makes the world go round might need a bit of a rethink. If goods and services become more affordable, the value of money could potentially decrease, leading us to reconsider our relationship with it. But it's not all about spending. The rise of AGI also has enormous implications for wealth distribution. As we've discussed earlier, the shift from labor to capital could lead to an increase in wealth for those who own the capital, the AI and the robots. This shift could exacerbate wealth inequality, unless mitigated by new economic policies. One such proposal, as advocated by Sam Altman, is to tax assets like companies and land and distribute the wealth directly to citizens. This concept of an American equity fund could ensure that the benefits of AGI are shared by all, not just the few. Imagine a world where the profits from AI are distributed directly to your bank account, providing a form of universal basic income. This could redefine the way we earn and spend, making money more of a means to pursue passions, rather than a necessity for survival. Money, like everything else, will have a different meaning in the AGI era. The future of AI is not just about technology, it's about shaping our society. As we draw to a close, let's take a moment to recap the key points we've discussed. The AI revolution is upon us, a sweeping wave of change that promises to reshape the world as we know it. We're entering an era where Moore's law encompasses everything, where the cost of goods and services plummets, and where wealth is created at an unprecedented scale. Capitalism, the economic system that's been the bedrock of our society for centuries, is poised to transform into something more inclusive. The concept of the American Equity Fund is a testament to this, suggesting a new way of distributing wealth directly to citizens, taxing capital over labor, and ensuring economic inclusivity. As we transition to this new system, there will be challenges to overcome, but the potential rewards are immense. The AI-driven future will revolutionize the job market, creating new roles that we can't even imagine today. The advent of artificial general intelligence, or AGI, will open up a world of possibilities, redefining our understanding of work and wealth in the process. Recent developments in AI technology, such as Lightmatter's photonic computer and Synopsys's DSO.i tool, underscore the rapid pace of innovation. These advancements are not just about improving computing efficiency and performance, they're about empowering us the people to harness the power of AI and shape our own future. And that's the crux of it, we're not mere spectators in this revolution. We are the active participants, the change makers. Each one of us has a role to play in the story of AI, whether we're tech enthusiasts, policy makers, or everyday citizens. As we stand on the brink of the AI revolution, we are not just observers but active participants in shaping our future. 